made it. Can you see it? I'm a pony. Yeah. <laughs> this video was so fun. And so bye bye. You guys. I'm not ready to get up. It's like 6 in the morning on Saturday. I was supposed to go ride like 17 miles today. My last long run was before the fires like a month ago. What? So I'm getting behind in my training and I really need to run. I really need to I'm do a long run. Right now. But I'm just not feeling it. Mind over matter. Okay. I got this. Uh -huh. I can do it. Just gotta get out there and do it. And get out there and do it. But first, coffee. I want to show you guys what I do on a typical long run day. I have a marathon um, December 2nd, and it's my second marathon. Um, and I'm not really feeling super ready yet. Um, my training got put to a hold because of the fires, and I just, ever since then, I've been feeling like really tired and unmotivated and um, like, worn out I don't know what is going on so trying to get myself back into the swing of things I'm hoping this long run will kind of uh, let my body know like hey we're still in this we're still doing this so we'll see how it goes I'm not going for um, you know a certain pace or time I'm just going out there to run and I'm gonna do it nice and easy, slower, and try to enjoy it and let my body kinda get back into the swing of things. So what I do first thing when I wake up is this annoying cat is all over me. Say hi. Stop it. Okay, is I get water. I'm gonna fill this up. Oh wait, my husband's watering the vineyard, so I don't have very much water right now, so needs a sink. Stop it, cat. I feel I'm using the sink. Fill this up. I got a dog and a cat and it's craziness here. Fill this um, get water in my body first thing. And then I make coffee. Go outside. Piper, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Piper. Oh my gosh. Come on. She's five months old and she's a pain in my butt. Come on. You want to go on a run today? You got to go potty. Go potty. Come on. I know it's cold. She hates going out in the cold. It's her. Ow. She's short haired. Go potty. Come on. Come on. Hi goats. Sun's not even up yet. <laughs> okay, did you go? You can go poo poo? No? You wanna get out of the cold? Okay. So for breakfast I made a um, shake with my new life protein. Mm, so good. I like my shake's thick as you can see. I like to have to eat them with a spoon. So, I had my Neolife shake mix. 
Um, this stuff is so delicious. This is vanilla, has tons of vitamins in it. Um, I'm gonna link that in the description. You can check it out. Chia seeds, cinnamon, of course, um, PB2, maca powder, and unsweetened almond vanilla milk, or you could use cashew milk. So I made a shake with that, um, and that's gonna be my breakfast before my run, and then I'm gonna get dressed. Mm. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna show you what supplements I take and uh, what I take with me on my long runs. Um, so I have an overshirt here, it's a little cool outside. And then I'm going to be taking my belt, my Nathan belt, that come with these two water bottles. So I have the Nun Electrolytes Energy. So um, I'm just gonna put one tablet in one of my bottles, let that fizz. This is, um, you can't really see it, but it has potassium, magnesium, and sodium without tons of sugar. So I love the none, elect whoa, electrolytes. Um, I also take this sport energine from Neolife that helps give you energy and stamina. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple of these. I'm gonna take my sport legs. This helps with lactic acid buildup so you don't have the burn as quickly. When you take these, I take um, two of these before I go and then every couple hours, you're supposed to take a couple more and they really, really help. Um, I've noticed a huge difference when I take these and I don't get that burn in my legs as quickly as I do, usually do. Okay, so for nutrition, I'm gonna take a honey stinger and then I'm also gonna take this banana, carrot, mango, orange, baby food, toddler food kind of pouch. These are actually really yummy. And it's real food. Um, it's got carbs, it's got, it's not focusing, but 370 milligrams of potassium, um, 23 carbs. So it's actually a really good um, way to get in some good calories and without tons of sugar and just you know it's got nutrition to it too so I'm gonna take one of these um, and that should be good um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna take with me oh yeah and I have my muscle rubber band I'm gonna rub my muscles out too real quick so all right miles and I'm bringing her back home so just gonna enjoy the day water ha, like three miles before I got home <clears throat> so my husband had to come and give me water because I did not want to get dehydrated but good run it has some uh, takeaways I want to work on I'll share that with you guys later um, but it's getting warm out but felt pretty good felt better than I had expected after having so much time off yes so back at home 
First thing I do after a long run like that is I try to get in some liquid calories. I'm usually not really hungry after um, an intense workout like that. I just don't feel like eating. So, but it's important to get calories in because you just burned almost 2,000 calories, so you need to replenish. Um, so what I do is I make a little shake. I have ice and unsweetened almond milk, and then I have some protein, butter. I have Neolife's Sport Performance Protein, and this has, for two scoops, it has 26 grams of protein. Um, 26 carbs, it's got potassium, a lot of potassium, a lot of sodium, so it's really good to recover. What? Okay, after I do this, um, so I'm gonna do two scoops. This. And if you want, what I also like to do is add in a little PB2, it's like a peanut butter vanilla shake. Sorry to flatten here. You can sing down off the counter. Let's shake it up. Quiet. I gotta look down here. It's so good. Oh, you guys have to try this. I'm gonna put this powder in the description. You guys have to try this. If you wanna try it, like a sample, let me know, I'll get you a sample. And um, with the PB2 and the vanilla milk. All right, so what I got going for lunch, it is around noon. I have a salmon burger patty with some olive oil, frying that up and then a bunch of just veggies, broccoli, bell pepper, and zucchini in there. Um, I'm just gonna saute that, and then I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of guacamole on it, and, um, oh yeah, and some watermelon, of course. My favorite post-run snack, watermelon, oh my god. So, we got our lunch. We got salmon, patty, avocado, veggies, and a few tortilla chips. You are training hard, training for a marathon, ultra marathon, um, whatever it may be, Spartan race. Um, on these hard training days, you gotta make sure that you are getting a lot of nutrition, vitamins, minerals, hydration, because when, like today, when you go and run 15 miles, your body is pretty much getting depleted of, depleted of everything. <laughs> so. Got to make sure that you recover properly, get enough protein after your workout, get enough vitamins. That's why I fill my plate with veggies. I take multivitamin. Um, just make sure that you're getting everything that your body needs to get back um, and recover after a hard training session. So I've learned that the hard way, um, but I am doing a lot better at taking care of my body after my workouts. Um, so, um, yeah, I've been sick, gotten sick before after some like long runs or long training weeks. And I'm like, why the heck am I sick? And um, it's because my body was so depleted, my immune system like crashed and um, it just couldn't keep up. So I've learned to properly recover. Okay, can you guys be quiet for a minute? So anyway, during my run, I had a great run, but there were some takeaways. One, for one, I ran out of water. Cannot happen. Like I can't do that. So I need to bring more water. Um, I had my belt, which only carries like those little water bottles. So I'm thinking I might need to buy a nice sack, running sack, running backpack that holds more water, because I do not want to be running out of water. Um, so that um, is the takeaway I had. And then um, the other thing was like food. I didn't like the honey stinger. I used to like those like a year ago, I used to use those, but I've been trying to eat a lot less sugar. So that tasted super sweet to me, and I almost, I couldn't even eat it. So I need to find something else besides the honey stinger stuff, stuff that's not super sweet. I loved the, um, like the toddler food 
couch. I might just bring a couple of those, but if you guys have any tips on products that aren't super sweet, are real food, nutritious, that are easily portable for running, let me know, um, comment, and would love to hear some ideas on that, because um, the Honey Stinger, like, those gels and goo gels are just, they're just too sweet, so, um, anyway, if you have any tips on that, let me know. So I need to figure out, you know, that's why we train, so trial and error, we figure out what works, what doesn't work. So um, I'm gonna try to experiment with some other types of foods to take with me. I like eating as full and real foods as possible. Um, I think your body just digests that stuff a lot easier. So, but other than that, I think it was a great run. Like I said, it went nice and slow. My pace was uh, about 10.30 um, to 11. So slower, but um, you know, and I also realized how much that I need to work my muscles and do more strength training because during my whole run, like I have the stamina, my cardio is good. Um, I could, you know, go forever without getting like winded or tired. Like I, once you get into that zone and you find that pace where you can just go, um, like I have the stamina. What the problem is, is my legs and my muscles start to break down and it hurts like, which is normal, but I think with more strength training and building up my leg muscles more and um, my core muscles more, um, I can eat, go even longer without slowing down because um, my muscles will be able to endure um, longer. So, okay, I'll, I'm almost done. So I wanna start incorporating a lot more strength training to especially the legs. So. Yeah, those are kind of a few things I, got, I took away from today's run. Um, I feel great. I Today definitely needed to happen because I kind of got my motivation back, kind of got that feel for that run, that adrenaline, that um, runner's high, um, being out in nature and just experiencing being alone, alone time, and um, it felt great. So I definitely needed this run. So thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment below with any tips um, for you know nutrition and hydration for running. Um, and I'm gonna drop some things in the description box of, of, of like the protein powder I use, the Neo Life Shake I drink, and um, that Runner's Lit Sports Legs uh, tablets that I love. So I'll drop some of that in the description and. Yeah, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you at the next video. Bye. Bye.